Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wildcrendor, and today I wanted to make a video about Hearthstone dungeon runs because I think there's a lot of controversy and differing of opinions on whether this mode's gonna come back, whether Blizzard's gonna expand upon it, if they're gonna make it uh, pay to play if they bring it back, or if this was, you know, just a, a Kobolds, a Kobolds exclusive. It's for the Kobolds expansion only, and that's that. So, um, first off, I want to say I love Hearthstone Dungeon Runs. It's one of the most fun things I've had happen, or, uh, <laughs> one of the most fun things I think has happened. Wait, am I even saying that right? It's one of the most fun things that's happened in Hearthstone in a while. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I think the amount of differing runs you can get based on your class and the cards you take, um, and how you play those cards is amazing. It makes you keep coming back for more. Like, you get so many RNG crazy stuff happening. Like, for example, um, I put some of the clips up on YouTube for my live streaming where uh, I got a handful of wish cards uh, where so I could just play a bunch of legendaries. I got Wax Rager, and I pretty much won with Wax Rager and the Death Rattle, procking off that. There's, like, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. Cthune runs, some of my favorites. Um, and... I really hope they bring dungeon runs back, but the reason I'm kind of skeptical about it is they don't make money. <laughs> and because that's a thing, because Blizzard would be, would be putting money into something that doesn't make money, I don't know if they're going to do it. However, I will say that I've seen so many people say they've come back to Hearthstone primarily because of dungeon runs. So, it is possible that, say, Blizzard were to, would keep making dungeon runs just to get people to come back to the game, play the new dungeon runs, and then while you're at it, be like, Hey, you know what? Maybe I'll buy some packs. Maybe I'll do an arena. Maybe I'll, uh, you know, play around or whatever. Maybe I'll spend some money, right? I think that's one hope you can have. I think another hope would be that Blizzard somehow finds a non-invasive way to monetize them. But I don't really know how that would work. Like, I've heard people say you can make them pay to play, like, arenas, or you can pay gold to play them. And that's possible, but that would be kind of de defeating one of the points of dungeon runs, which is you just play a whole bunch of them and they're different every time. Um... Maybe if there was a special type of dungeon run, like there was normal dungeon runs where you played for nothing like it currently is, or you could have like a risk reward type thing where you pay, say, 150 to 300 gold, or you pay some money to play a risky dungeon run, and through that you're able to earn rewards, like you can earn card packs, kind of like arenas. You can earn your money back, you can earn gold, you can earn cards, and by doing that, I think you push players into the modes you want them to play more in, which is the constructed modes in Arena where they're going to make money. And you also make money out of dungeon runs, and you still have the option of just playing dungeon runs for free and uh, keeping it the way it is and getting people to come back. Because I think right now, dungeon runs are far too good to pass up an opportunity on for Blizzard. I think uh, you can look at Slay the Spire as one prime example of how popular these roguelike card game dungeon runs are doing. Slay the Spire is extremely popular. A lot of Hearthstone people, including myself, have been playing Slay the Spire a ton. And that game is early alpha, and it's uh, an independent studio, so a lot smaller than Blizzard. And they only have two classes, and uh, when, when you think of that, and you think of what Blizzard has, I think the possibilities that Blizzard, uh, of what Blizzard could do with dungeon run type games is kind of insane. Uh, and I think for them to just say, yeah, you know what, that went really well. You know, we, we put that in Kobolds and Catacombs. Everybody loved it. We got so many people coming back. We got people playing for longer, people that haven't played in a long time. Well, let's move on. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't think you can just do that. I think, I think what I said earlier is the best way where you have a 
monetizable way to kind of risk reward the dungeon run and then have it free to play as well. Uh, you just don't get rewards out of it. I think that's the best thing uh, that they can do. Because uh, aside from that, I can't really think of another way to monetize it without it being extremely invasive. You know what I mean? You don't want to have people have to buy cards. Because um, that would defeat the whole point of the dungeon run. The whole point of the dungeon run is you're picking a class where you're like, Alright, I want to use this class's cards. And then you're drafting your deck, essentially. It's a, it's a, it's a draft. So you say, like, I want, you know, plus one, plus one to all my minions. I want double my health. I want double battle cries, or whatever it may be. Uh, and they can expand upon that, obviously. Um, and then uh, the other half of the, the fun is just building the deck in general with the minions you get, the card selections, maybe even mixing it up like, hey, take some mage cards if you want. Like, wow, I'm a hunter with mage cards. Like, you can, you can do whole, a whole bunch of crazy stuff because it's single player. And, you're, and you can make the bosses uh, crazier as well. You can tie this in with uh, the solo adventures in, in some way. I'm sure some people would rather have the solo adventures still that maybe don't enjoy dungeon runs as much. But I think, I think this is just too great of an opportunity for Blizzard. And I think if they don't focus on dungeon runs at all, um, it's just... It's going to be a waste of time. I think they've developed something so good, and there's obviously a market for it with Slay the Spire doing so well. Um, there's various other card games that have been doing this type of thing, but these are the two uh, biggest ones I can at least think of right now. Um, and I think if they pass up on it, all they're going to do is encourage other people to create these types of card games and then take their market away from them because people be like, oh, well, Blizzard's not doing this. I'm going to go somewhere else. And then in doing that, you're losing so many players that are into card games. And instead of um, driving those players to your other game modes, being like, hey, we're not just a dungeon run game. We do these other games too. Whoa. And you got the mobile market. Uh, so it doesn't even have to be the hardcore gamers. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I think that would just be a huge mistake on Blizzard's part. So, I'm kind of curious as to what everybody thinks. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, does my idea sound alright? Because uh, if you got a better idea, please tell me. I can't. I was thinking about it for a while and I just couldn't think of another way that would make sense to monetize it without upsetting everybody that's currently enjoying dungeon runs, right? Um, because uh, I've heard people be like, oh, they can make it like arenas, but, you know, everybody's going to see that and be like, I pay to play a dungeon run. I don't want to do that. So I think having the option, it's got to be the best choice. The option has to be, like, one of the best choices there is. Otherwise, I don't know. And then if there is no option and it's still free to play, is they don't want to they don't want to make it because they're going to make money off it. All right? So I think, uh, <laughs> I think that's what it is. Uh, either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, uh, and even what you would change to Dungeon Runs. Is there anything you'd want to change? Uh, different cards, uh, crazy stuff you'd want to do. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for listening, and I will see you next time. Okay? Okay. See you! In and out of the shadows. Thank <laughs> you.